Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to a video about phasmophobia, a rather disappointing, heartbreaking and frankly depressing video for me to make, something I was hoping I'd never have to make. Phasmophobia has been delayed once again for PSVR 2 and all the console versions, actually PS5, Xbox as well. The game was originally scheduled to come to console in August and then there was an office fire which forced the team to work remotely and that set the release back. They aimed for the week of Halloween. And now as we're approaching that week, they're saying yet again, they've run into issues that were unforeseen and whatnot. And now it's going to be pushed out again. And they haven't given us a date this time, not even an estimate this time. So who knows how far it's going to be pushed out. But we will read the update from the developers and see if we can uh, get any information out of that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because my eyes are getting old. So, console updates. We'd like to express our deepest gratitude for your support and excitement for our console release as we still try to adapt to our new remote working life after the fire incident and to establish a new office. We've encountered unforeseen challenges in adapting the game for consoles. These combined factors have affected our development timeline more than we initially anticipated. Additionally, in preparation for the PSVR 2 launch, we have been diligently reviewing the game's performance and optimizing us across all maps to ensure a seamless experience for all of our console players. In this regard, we had to rework Maple Lodge campsites with a completely new layout. More information below. This decision, though time consuming for our art team, is essential to provide the best possible gameplay experience. So. It seems the PlayStation VR 2 specifically might have contributed to this delay. I know they didn't single-handedly point to that being the only issue, but the PSVR 2, uh, the way it runs on this Maple Lodge or whatever it's called, uh, seems to be one of the con contributing factors at least. Now, we do know the game runs on Unity, and as far as I know, Unity has a hard time with foveas of rendering, so maybe foveas of rendering is not something we should be expecting with Phasmophobia. And because of that, performance isn't going to be as efficient as maybe it could be or should be. Hence why this Maple Lodge campsite was maybe giving them some issues running smoothly on the PSVR 2. But it sounds like they've got to work around by completely remaking that map. Um, or well, not, not completely, but you know, relaying, making the layouts different to uh, so you're not loading in too much at once or whatever. While we had hoped to present you with a special launch alongside the Halloween event, so this was going to launch the same time as the Halloween event, the complexity of our current challenges means we need more time. We will keep you updated on our progress and provide a revised release date as soon as we have more information to share. We are working diligently to minimize the impact of this delay and we want to express our sincere gratitude for your continued support. We promise when Phasmophobia arrives on consoles, it will be worth the wait. And I've no doubt it will be like this. Yeah, like I'm not going to get too upset about delays. Even this one, you know, delays are always the right thing to do. Uh, you do not want to release a broken game. Uh, but because I've been looking forward to this game so, so much, this one really felt like an absolute punch to the gut. And because of the kind of vague wording, I mean, for all we know, this is now a 2024 game. I hope it's something that's maybe just pushed a few weeks. They're talking about minimizing the impact of this delay down here, but who knows, you know. And then when you read this, I'm not going to read all this uh, Maple Lodge campsite stuff, but there was an interesting thing they bring up, the Halloween event. So the Halloween event will launch on or around the 26th of October. So that tells me that the Phasmophobia was going to come to console. PSVR 2 on the 26th of October before this tragic delay. So yes, sad news when it comes to Phasmophobia. Sad as well that it misses Halloween. I mean, it really is the perfect game for PSVR 2 for Halloween. Of course, that's not to say we're going to be starved for Halloween games. We already got Propagation. Madison is going to be coming out around that time. Ghostbusters will probably benefit a lot from this uh, delay, maybe more so than any other game because they're somewhat similar with the co-op hunting of ghosts, basically. Uh, so maybe that's a plus for End Dreams' title. And there's other stuff like Seventh Guest and whatnot coming out soon as well. So there is plenty of horrors to keep you going throughout Halloween. Hopefully this one will not be too far behind. Anyway, just wanted to let you know, I'm disappointed. I am. I really am. I understand why, but I'm still disappointed. I can't help us. I'm just, I'm just heartbroken over this one. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know... A lot of you probably say, listen, better to release a game that works than one that's broken. 
And you're right, of course, but uh, right now it's the emotions. It's the emotions getting in my way. My hormones are not allowing me to see logically like that. Anyway, I'll end this video. Thank you for watching. Before I go, let me thank my channel members whose names are on the screen right now. They are the following. Muzz, Dead Eye Dan, Chopped PPE, No One Knows, Move Master Make, Esports Commentator for Hire, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, Crumb, Superfly AF, Edify Till I Die, Mr. 777, and Lone Wolf Vior. If you would like to add your name to that list and become a member, you can hit the join button beneath this video for certain channel perks, including playing with me and whatnot when we're doing streams. Hopefully a phasmophobia in the not too distant future, although more distant than I would like. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.